Hello, it's Tube Tech Help here today, and today I'm going to be showing you KeyPass. It's a really cool way of storing your passwords and making generating secure ones uh, much better than using your default password that you probably got in a minute. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer to download the program. It's a uh, at keypass.info. I'm just going to Google it for now. Um, it's open source and free, so uh, it's not going to steal your passwords. Uh, you want to go to Downloads and you can choose classic edition or professional edition I recommend the classic edition, it's a bit simpler uh, there's also ports for Windows Phone 7, iPhone, Android, Blackberry uh, Spoon uh, and Linux which keep, is KeePass X so it's very compatible so I'm going to download the installer exe for Windows in this time I'm going to let it uh, go ahead and download from SourceForge Uh, gonna run it. Um, it says it's not commonly downloaded, but it's safe, obviously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run it and allow it on the user account control and go ahead and install it. English. You can just whiz through this. And there you go, you're done. So you can get browser integration if you want. Or just click uh, launch key pass, I will now. And now you'll see the key pass main window. Here you want to uh, click new if you haven't already made a password database, which you probably haven't. And it'll say create new password database. Now you're going to want to make a master password. This is the main password to access all your other passwords. So uh, you might want to make this secure, but in this case I'm just going to make it password. Done password, but you know, it's just a default. You can also set a key file, which means that you need a special file, uh, any fa file you want, and you can use it as a key, so to say. And then click OK. Uh, type it again, to so password. And you'll now see the uh, it's opened up a new file. Uh, you, so to show it, you can save the new file. Save it wherever. So I'm going to save it in my documents as database. And to make a new entry, you can choose uh, any of the categories. You can make another category group. I'm going to go to just Internet and click the little key here. And you should see the Add Entry Group. So in this case, I'm just going to do a random one, uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, type in my username, TubeTech Help. And you'll see a random password has been generated for you. If you click here, you can make it a bit more stronger. You've got some preset settings here. You can add spaces, special, brackets, uh, and you can generate it. And as you can see, it's probably more secure than your normal password. Uh, you accept it and click OK. And that's it. And click Save. Now, to get your password, you just right click the entry and click Copy Password. Um, I'll, I'll show you this in action. For example, you go to uh, Gmail, for example. I'm not going to log in because it's not my password. Just type in your e pass username and then just copy and paste it. So copy password and then paste it with control V and copies and pastes your password yeah, another cool feature that you might like is if you uh, right click the entry and click when you're on the page and click perform multi-type and oh, that failed miserably let's go back if you right click the entry click perform multi-type make sure you've got the username box selected perform multi-type and it types in your password for you and clicks enter quite useful that uh, there's also lots of plugins, as I said, um, which shows up in the install, so you can just go to their website, keypass.info. Link in the description is not always. And there's lots of plugins. Um, obviously, the, the, they're developed by other people, so that most of them are open source. Backup plugins, um, strength report, Firefox plugins, and things like that, so you might want to have a look at that for yourself. So, that's it, so thank you for watching.